Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, it is time for my June favorites. I actually don't have a ton of stuff to talk about, but I have enough for an actual favorites video. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is a foundation. So last month I talked about the Clinique Acne Solutions Foundation, which I absolutely love. I think it's really, really great. Um, but it inspired me to pull out another Clinique foundation and it is the Beyond Perfecting. I think I talked about this somewhat recently, maybe in like my April favorites or March. I don't know, but this should be expiring sometime this month, um, so I really want to use it and get all the love I can. It's almost gone. I do wear the shade Alabaster. Luckily, I can usually find my shade at a CCO, a cosmetic company outlet, so usually I buy it there, um, or that's where I bought this bottle at least, but this stuff is so good. I absolutely love the coverage of it, and I just like how it feels kind of lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel really heavy, and it just offers really good coverage and a really nice finish as well. So the rest of the products for face are from CoverGirl. Um, I recently did a huge CoverGirl review on all of the peach scented, chocolate scented, all the new stuff that they put out. Um, I bought all of it with my own money. So, well, except the uh, primers, they, they were sent to me. But otherwise, all of that was purchased by me, and I did a full rundown review for you guys, so I will link that up in the cards if you guys are interested, but I do want to shout out a couple products from that video that I have been obsessed with this month. Um, the first one is the True Blend It's Lit Concealer. So this is a pen-style concealer. I really love this for brightening. It has good coverage for a concealer. I would say it's like light to medium coverage. It's not super, super full coverage like a Tarte Shape Tape, a Makeup Revolution, Conceal and Define, but it is very brightening. And for every day, I don't want a super concealed under eye, just it looks a little heavy. But this is so nice because it really does add that nice brightening effect without looking really heavy and cakey under the eyes. I really enjoy CoverGirl concealers for the most part. I love the Outlast one as well, um, but this is just really brightening. It's really nice. I do have the shade something. I don't know what shade I have. It's not on here, but it's the lightest one, I think, um, and I'm wearing it today, and I really just like how it brightens up that area. I've also been obsessed with the CoverGirl Peach Punch blushes. Out of the whole peach line, these things are definitely my favorite. I love them. Um, out of the two, I probably wear 130 more, but funny enough, I'm actually wearing 120 today just because it's a little bit more subtle and soft. It's not as intense as 130, but they are both really beautiful, really smooth. They're like a satin finish blush, and I just think they add a really nice look to the skin. And yeah, they're both peach, but they're definitely different shades of peach. 130 is definitely deeper, a little more poppy, where 120 is a little bit more soft and subtle. So I like that, yes, while they're still peach, they don't resemble each other too much. Like, there is definitely a place in my collection for both of them. So I really appreciate that. And then the other face product from CoverGirl I want to talk about, and the last face product I will be chatting about today, is the True Blend Super Stunner Palette. So this is a highlight palette, and this is real good, you guys. This is really good. I love it. So I do have the one in It's Lit. It says it's fair to light skin tones. They do make a deeper one as well that I did not purchase because I can't really wear that one on my skin. But honestly, the middle shade is so good. Like this is my new highlight best friend right here. I also love this one right here. This one's a little yellow for me, so I don't wear this shade a ton, but I really like the formula of all of them. They are so buttery and so smooth, and I'm wearing this one and this one mixed together today, and I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin. It was like really intense, but I blended it out a little bit because I was like, I have a stripe of highlighter. Um, this also works really well on the eyes. I have this on the inner corner today and on the brow bone. Beautiful, beautiful formula. And it just sits on the skin so well. It doesn't like emphasize texture at all. And it's just really smooth, really metallic. I absolutely love this palette. Kind of rhymed, right? Metallic palette, yeah. Moving on to the eyes, I have a high-end thing to talk about and a drugstore thing. So the high-end thing I wanna talk about, and I did high-end because 
Some people, I guess, don't consider this super high-end, but I do. This is from The Balm. Um, they recently had their 50% off sale, so follow them on Instagram and stock up on these when that sale hits. I found mine at Nordstrom Rack for really cheap. I guess I should tell you guys what I'm talking about. These are the Batter Up Shadow Sticks. So I found mine at Nordstrom Rack months ago for like, maybe even like almost close to a year ago, probably like eight or nine months ago now that like I found them for like five bucks each. It was awesome. Um, but they, they're still on the Balm's website. So I guess they're not getting discontinued anytime soon. But my two favorite shades are Curveball and Shutout. Curveball is a more like peachy nude. I'm wearing that one on the inner corner like of my lid today. And it's just, again, a more peachy nude, really metallic and pretty, but smooth. It's not chunky. And then Shutout. Shutout is a more like cool toned, pale gold, bronzy kind of color. Um, it's really beautiful. I have a lot of other shades and I like all of them, but these two for every day have just been my go-tos lately. I just, I like how thin they are, so they're very easy to control. Sometimes with shadow sticks, they get to be a little too chunky and they get up into the crease and it creates a really big mess. But with these, they're thinner, so you can get a really nice, precise application, which I really appreciate. And they're just so smooth. They don't chunk at all and they last so long on the eye. And I just, I love these two shades for an everyday look. I think they're really, really beautiful. The drugstore thing for eyes that I want to shout out. Now, this is relatively new to me, but this is just, this had to be in this video. So this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I can't open it. There we go. In Jewel Pop. So this is the like super colorful one that they put out. I talked about this in that um, Maybelline video, the Super Stay Stick Foundation. I showed you guys kind of like a little Ulta haul in that. Um, and a lot of you guys did say to me that uh, you would be interested in seeing kind of like a showdown of all the different Mad for Matte palettes and different looks with them and the swatches and kind of my comparisons and things like that. So I will definitely be doing that for you guys. But this palette is so good because while well, yes, it's super colorful, but honestly, if you color, if you color, if you cover up those three, you have like kind of a pretty neutral-ish palette. Granted, the orange kind of sticks out, but the really bright shades are the purple, the blue, the green, and the orange. Everything else is kind of subtle. This purple right here, this like fuchsia color, one could say, oh, that's, you know, bright. It doesn't really come off that bright on the eyes. I love that they included a matte cream and a black in here. And then also these two shades for transition, this like warmer tone and then this like grayish cool toned brown. I really like to use both of those as transition colors. Today, I am wearing a ton of the purple shades. I don't know if it's coming across quite as intense on camera, but what I did today is I took Curveball from the Balm, which is the more peachy one, like I said, and I put that kind of right here, and then I blended these two purples on the outer corner. I used this warm tone as my transition shade, and then I blended up just a little bit with the orange, and it just looks really beautiful, I think. I've also worn the green, which is stunning. You guys probably saw that on Instagram. If you follow me, I do face of the days over there. So you've probably seen me use that green before. Um, and I wore it to work. It didn't come off super intense. You can make these really intense if you want to. You know, if you pack them on the lid, if you pack them on, they can really be bright, intense shades. But if you blend them out, they look really subtle and really beautiful. So don't be afraid of color. And this palette's only like $10. So if you want to try a colorful palette, this might be a good one to start with. I actually did find mine at the Ulta store. So I, for a long time, this was only online, but it's now in Ulta stores, which is awesome. One more palette that I actually want to give a shout out to is the CoverGirl True Naked Sunsets. So I reviewed all of the new ones in the uh, CoverGirl video, but this one really stands out to me because I feel like I can do a full look with this palette. And with the other ones, I don't know if I can totally do that, but with this one, I can because I'm getting a matte cream. I'm getting like a nice shimmery highlight shade. I'm getting a nice gold to put on the lid. I get a couple like deeper tones right here, one matte, one shimmer, and then I get some pinks and oranges. Now, can I do a ton of different looks with this? No, they all kind of end up looking the same, but 
I still really like this palette and I love the formula and this is I think out of all of them the only palette that I can use to get a full look like I said so I love this palette I definitely recommend if you're into those warm tones this would be a really great buy for you right, the last product that I want to talk about is a lip product and again this is something I purchased at Ulta but I really love this formula. This is just a new color for me and I'm obsessed with it. This is the Flower Beauty Mix and Match Metals Lipstick and Lip Gloss Duos. I already have Honey Nude, which I love. Let me actually grab that real quick. I can move this. So I already have the shade Honey Nude. So let me show you guys what this one looks like. I love this shade. It's such a nice kind of warmy nude color but the shade that I picked up and that I'm wearing today is tickled pink and I actually thought this was going to be a little bit brighter and then my sister had it swatched in Ulta so there's tickled pink and there's honey nude and then they do come with lip glosses on the other side and I have the gloss on today on top of the lipstick and tickled pink so my sister had this swatched in Ulta and I was like what is that I love that and she was like oh it's the flower beauty duo thing at tickled pink and I was like mine I went over and I bought it my sister actually didn't buy it that day but then she went back today and got it so um this is just so good it's so creamy I love 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 the flower beauty matte formula on these so creamy it really does feel like a cream lipstick and then the gloss are so good because they look very very shimmery in the tubes but when you put it on it doesn't look that shimmery and metallic like it just looks like a really healthy gloss. It doesn't look like a metallic lip. So I, that's what I really like about these two is that you can kind of get that nice shine, slightly metallic look, but it's not a full on metallic liquid lip or even a metallic lip gloss. So I just, I really love these. And the gloss is an interesting texture. It's a more like mousse type of texture. It's not super liquidy, but it just feels really good on the, on the lips. So I love these so much in the shade Tickled Pink. This is just my kind of color. Like a purpley pink is like everything to me. It is so, so good. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for supporting me for another month. I really just want to give you guys a huge shout out. All the comments, all of the messages that I get on Instagram, all the comments I get over here, you guys are seriously the nicest people. The fact that you take time out of your days to write to me and to comment on my videos and subscribe and support me, it really does mean so, so much. And I just love talking makeup, and I love that like you guys get it. You know what I mean? Like. There's just some people who are like, my gosh, like, why do you need all that makeup? Or Andrea, you have a ton of different lipsticks that look like that. Or, you know, and you guys just are always so supportive and so kind about it. And I just, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so, so much. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified whenever I upload. I know, I guess that's a thing now. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And always leave your video requests in the comments below. I get a lot of my ideas from you guys. So again, thank you so, so much. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.